Hey, this is Dave coming at you from Michigan. I'll just do a quick little video. Today we're actually um, getting the the porch prepped for the tongue and groove. Um, it's It rained all day yesterday, which was Sunday, and it, it's really wet through there in the back. So unfortunately, um, you know, we can't get to where I wanted to finish on the high parts, but we figured we might as well just start here where we don't have to drive that much. Um, so over here is what it looks like from, and this is a nice setup. We got the lift, I'm in the basket. Um, you can see how we just notched the post around. So in order to make this look good, we just decided to just pack out this beam. So it looks like the beam, when the house is all said and done, will be the same width as the, as the post. So there's how we notched it. And we used the lag bolts here. We used a Forstner bit to drill through to recess and then a washer and a nut and then uh, my father-in-law did this and he uh, he just knocked it down with a disc grinder and flushed it which uh, is a really good job uh, and then um, here we just decided to rip two this ended up being a like two inches right here just rip the two inch I went ahead and put glue in there I, we've been gluing I don't know why it's so overkill but since we're gonna have things hanging off of it and this is on the side of something I figured that gluing and nailing is better than just nailing uh, and then um, the reason why I'm putting these pieces in because you wouldn't need these usually because you know obviously you have just like a really a, an eight inch width there and the reason for those blocks and I still did 16 on center from the edge where some finished rough sawn will eventually be is because once you we're going to be running these porch uh, the tongue and groove actually the same way as the uh, trusses so we have to first strip this down with running the first strips this way and so the first strips are three quarter and then once you have the the uh, soffit put on you're at inch and a half so even though this looks like a backer now it gives you nothing to fasten the fascia board on because you'll just have air there so that's why we're putting these in here all those blocks are doing is uh acting as something that will catch the rough sun that goes on the side of this and so from this point you'd yeah you'd first strip you'd put the tongue and groove in and then at that point you would do the rough sawn on here, cap it, and then the last thing is you would run the rough sawn up these columns that go up under that. Uh, caulk it with quad, stain it, and then that's a wrap. But I just figured I'd do a short little video because this shows like a good section of before and after. This being before, this being kind of in the middle, and then after. So, this is Dave signing off.